I want y'all to listen to this. Kevin makes a point here that is huge. To continue to match pace with us. And then if you notice that as men have started to improve, women are this way and our families are doing this. Okay, did you hear that? I'll go back a little further. Listen. A standard. 30 years ago, the black unemployment rate for men was... I mean, we were we were in the middle class at about a 43 percent rate, something like that. Now, black men are in the middle class by a 64 percent rate. Black men are improving. That's major, major statement right there from 43 percent in the middle class to 64 percent. And that's a huge jump. That's improvement. And what we exactly. need is our women to continue to match pace with us. And what we need is our women to match pace with us. That pretty much sums up the entire gender war, so-called gender war between black males and black females. This has simply been a case of black men pleading with black women to make, to match pace with us in self-improvement. And as it is, black men are somewhat 20 some percent less overweight and less obese than black women. Black men stopped conk in their hair they stopped trying to look like other people they became more accepting of uh their natural look black men became more accepting of their natural look black women became less accepting and this is just after the 60s they became less accepting they went not only went back to a pretty much exclusive white beauty standard but they evolved it to wear those women's literal hair the more black women started to do that the more single they became the more overweight they became the more single they became the more attitude the more feminism the more i don't need a man ism the more single they became y'all don't think there's a correlation here the problem is not the men. That's what I'm saying. That's why I made the SBW channel. And that's been my point. The whole black men are improving. The women are not. They're regressing. They're regressing. I can understand black women being on the bottom of the list when it comes to other races of men, but not black men. Do y'all know they did one survey that showed black men would respond to messages from Hispanic women at a higher rate than they would respond to messages from black women? That is not normal, especially when you went from being 80% married. That's the norm. That's supposed to be the norm for black females. They were more likely to be married than white women. The women are the problem. That's why black Americans are on the path to extinction. I'm black American. We are on a path to extinction. The women have to snap out of it. It's as simple as that. They don't recognize their power. They don't recognize how much influence they could have on black men's mentality and behavior and character and the way we think by changing themselves but they won't change. listen if you were to snap your finger and they would all be a dress size four and and natural take all that garbage and nonsense off their head and off their face that would shock black men anything they were to do towards progress would shock black men because they are currently at rock bottom this video and all the videos I've dealt with where I deal with uh, social issues in black America, my intention is to put it out there exactly what the problem is. That hateful energy. What, what's happening is more and more black men are looking at black women as a group of women with severe mental problems. Not only that, 
but also a, a group of women who are extremely hateful and who carry a special type of hate for black men. More and more black men are looking at black women as a whole, as a group of women with serious mental issues that causes them to overeat, not care about how they look, how much they weigh, nothing about themselves. When you find somebody who takes extremely poor care of themselves and they're also hateful and mean and nasty, there are some serious problems going on there. I don't want to see black Americans go extinct. My ultimate uh, goal is to get them to snap out of it. But I seriously don't think that's going to happen. I do believe it's irreversible at this point. We'll see.